The dream of sending humans to Mars has captured the imagination of space agencies around the world, most notably NASA, which is taking bold steps to make this vision a reality. To support such an ambitious mission, NASA plans to first establish a lunar base that will serve as a launch pad for Mars expeditions, making the journey more practical and manageable. This approach will allow astronauts to test crucial survival technologies and reduce the amount of fuel and resources needed for the trip from Earth to Mars. But NASA isn't alone in the pursuit. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has set an ambitious timeline to land humans on Mars and aims to make it a self-sustaining colony. The European Space Agency and Russia's space program are also working toward this shared goal, each investing in technology and exploration strategies to make Mars colonization achievable. Reaching Mars is only one part of the challenge. The real test lies in surviving on this alien planet. Mars is a hostile environment, with a thin atmosphere that provides little protection from cosmic radiation and almost no breathable oxygen. The planet's surface temperature averages around 80 degrees I, and intense dust storms can last for months, complicating plans for human settlement. Beyond the atmospheric challenges, humans will need continuous access to water, air, and shelter, necessities that Mars cannot naturally provide. Water, in particular, will need to be extracted from ice or recycled while habitats must be constructed to shield humans from harsh conditions. Thus, advanced technology will be essential to create sustainable living environments on Mars. Oxygen is essential for survival, but Mars's thin, carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere contains less than 0.2% oxygen, making the air unbreathable. To address this, NASA has developed the Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment a device that extracts oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. Using a process called solid oxide electrolysis, MOXIE separates oxygen molecules from carbon dioxide, leaving carbon monoxide as a byproduct. This small-scale experiment is an important step toward developing technology that could one day supply astronauts with breathable air on Mars. However, the process requires a significant amount of energy to heat the CO2 to over 800 degrees Celsius limiting MOXIE's output and necessitating a powerful energy source for a fully operational oxygen production system. To better understand how to sustain human life in space, we can look to the International Space Station, which has been providing oxygen and recycling water for astronauts for over two decades. On the ISS, the water reclamation system purifies water from sources like sweat, urine, and cabin humidity, making it safe to drink. This conserves vital water resources in an environment where resupply missions are limited and costly. Similarly, the ISS's oxygen generation system uses electrolysis to separate oxygen from water, with safeguards in place to handle hydrogen, a flammable byproduct, in a safe manner. Despite these advances, replicating the ISS's system on Mars would be challenging. Unlike the ISS, which is only 400 kilometers from Earth, Mars is over 225 million kilometers away. Regular resupply missions are impractical, so Mars missions will require systems that can be largely self-sufficient, recycling resources, and generating necessary materials from what Mars itself can provide. To enable sustainable human life on Mars, researchers are exploring new methods to produce oxygen more efficiently. NASA's MOXIE experiment is a critical first step but future missions will need advanced systems capable of generating larger quantities of oxygen at reduced energy costs. Several labs are working on promising technologies, such as using vibrations to separate carbon dioxide at lower temperatures. This process requires less heat than electrolysis, potentially making it more suitable for the cold Martian environment. By reducing the energy demands of oxygen production, these innovations could make Mars colonization more feasible, especially in locations far from substantial energy sources. For a permanent settlement on Mars, oxygen production will need to be entirely self-sustaining, as dependency on Earth for resupply would be costly and impractical over such vast distances. Colonies will need to harness Mars resources, such as its atmospheric CO2 and potential subsurface water, to create a closed-loop system that recycles air and water. By reducing reliance on Earth, Mars colonies can better withstand long periods of isolation, 
and develop a level of independence crucial for long-term survival on the Red Planet. The idea of colonizing Mars is driven not only by the spirit of exploration, but also by a sense of scientific and existential urgency. Exploring Mars could unlock answers to questions about life, both past and future. Did Mars once host microbial life? Could it sustain life again? These questions captivate scientists and promise to deepen humanity's understanding of the universe and Earth's own history. Mars also offers a unique opportunity to study planetary processes up close and refine our knowledge of planetary habitability, which could be vital for understanding Earth's climate and ecosystems. Beyond scientific curiosity, the idea of a second home has become a compelling survival imperative. Throughout history, Earth has experienced several mass extinction events, such as the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. As humanity faces existential threats, from asteroid impacts to nuclear war, Mars presents an opportunity to establish a safety net. Moreover, the ongoing challenges of climate change, resource scarcity, and population growth on Earth fuel the argument for expanding human presence beyond our home planet. Colonizing Mars could safeguard human civilization and provide a new frontier where humanity can start afresh, building sustainable systems and learning valuable lessons that may one day help protect both Mars and Earth. As we look toward humanity's future on Mars, some ambitious timelines have already been set. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has declared a bold target to land humans on Mars as early as 2029. Musk's goal is not just to achieve a single mission, but to establish a fully operational Martian colony within our lifetimes. With reusable rockets and the powerful Starship vehicle, SpaceX aims to make interplanetary travel more affordable and feasible for extended missions, ultimately supporting a self-sustaining colony on Mars. NASA and other international space agencies are also planning significant milestones. NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a lunar base as a preliminary step, is targeting human exploration of Mars in the late 2030s. The European Space Agency, ESA, and Russia's Roscosmos are working on missions to Mars as well, contributing to scientific and technological advancements that can support human life on the Red Planet. These agencies focus on developing infrastructure, habitat technology, and life support systems essential for long-duration space travel and settlement. While landing on Mars is an incredible goal, it's only the beginning. The most pressing challenge lies not just in reaching Mars, but in sustaining human life there. Mars' extreme environment, its thin carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, frigid temperatures, and lack of liquid water will require advanced technologies and carefully planned infrastructure to make survival possible. Establishing a sustainable oxygen and food supply, reliable habitats, and efficient waste recycling will be essential for long-term survival and prosperity on Mars. This mission to create a second home for humanity will take years of dedication, innovation, and collaboration across agencies and nations. But if we succeed, Mars could offer a fresh start for humanity and the first step toward becoming a multi-planetary species. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of Mars exploration, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell to stay updated on all things space exploration.